Hi everyone, it's Dave here from Geeky Bricks and the Webs channel. So I am bringing you my latest instalment of building my Lego room. I think we're on week six. Week six, I think. Um, it's actually been going on for far longer than six weeks for me um, and the people that have been helping me um, to do this. Because uh, what you didn't see was all the digging out um, taking place etc because that would have been incredibly boring but yeah that took us a few weeks um, just to get that done and, um, alone um, having to dig out by hand but anyway um, like I said this is week six um, I believe so this weekend um, or last weekend just just gone I'm just recording this on uh, Wednesday actually <laughs> first chance I've had to do it um, but yeah, we uh, managed to get quite a bit done over the course of last weekend, hence I had no uploads onto either of my YouTube channels unless there was anything that was scheduled, which I can't remember. But anyway, um, I certainly didn't manage to get anything else done apart from getting the Bricklink room um, progressed. Um, so hopefully you will see um, that we have done quite a lot over the course of the weekend. Um, it's really starting to take shape now. Um, so yeah, um, what I'm going to start with is some time-lapse videos from both the Saturday and the Sunday so that you can see what happened in extremely quick time through that time-lapse and then I will go out to the uh, room now, um, the Lego room, so that we can uh, have a quick look um, and see what it's uh, looking like and kind of what the next stages are. So let's head over to that time-lapse video right now. Enjoy! Okay, so hope you enjoyed that time lapse. So obviously you can see I'm now out in my garden. So I'm going to turn the camera around in a sec, which you would have seen this kind of um, on the time lapse anyway, um, pretty much to where it is now. Um, but I'm really pleased that it's starting to look, in my opinion, quite impressive now. So let's turn around so you can take a look. Okay, so there we go. There you get to see the progress. So. Obviously we have now got all the, let's call them the walls, all this feather board, all the way around the room, apart from there obviously that's the door, double doors are going in there. 
we have managed to get the roof on, obviously on top, um, and got the fout on top of the roof. So that's got adhesive underneath that, and then the fout um, obviously being positioned on top of it. Obviously, it still needs to be um, pinned down at the edges here. We still need to get top bits around the edge there, etc. Um, so there's still quite a bit more work to be done. But let's uh, take a closer look. Let's walk over now. Okay, so again, just to explain that there is all just hanging down at the moment. One of the jobs for this weekend is to get that wrapped underneath, cut to size, and then tacked in there. Um, and then we will be putting um, some more boards along the side just to get that final, final seal in there. We also need to board underneath um, the canopy there um, as well. Um, there's going to be lights going along here, um, five down lights, hopefully, that's the plan. Um, doors we need to get on. Um, so you can see there the rather a large doorway, so a set of double doors, which we have. We've started to put the framework around, um, which you can see there, um, so that we can obviously get those doors fitted. And again, around the top edge there, you can see that's all got to be finished off. So it's obviously going to be dark in here because there are no windows in here, but hopefully this camera will do a good light, a good job, um, which it does. I can see on the screen myself. Um, but yeah, obviously bits of wood lying around, etc. Um, but you can kind of see inside now. I'll walk down to this end. So there you kind of, uh, again, get to see, obviously there's gaps everywhere, but that's all got to be finished off. Um, in between all these is going to be insulated. So it's all going to be insulated as well, including up there, there's obviously the ceiling stroke roof. That's all going to be insulated and then obviously it's all going to be boarded and painted inside and I'm going to be putting a more than likely wooden floor down here. Um, one of the next jobs that's got to be done is the electrics. So we've had an electrician round um, to look at what needs to be done and give us a quote um, for that work. So that should be happening fairly soon as well. So yeah, there's going to be quite a few electrical sockets in here. I've mentioned out there on that canopy, there's going to be some lights out there in here, the plan is to have four LED strip lights, because it is quite a big room um, in here. Um, but yeah, quite a bit of power um, that's gonna be coming up into this room. Well, I think that's really it, guys, for the uh, progress for this week as I move down to the other end. Um, and again, you can see, hopefully, the scale. Um, but yeah, it is really taking shape quite clearly, so it's watertight from I guess the roof point of view, um, obviously water can still get in the moment, but that'll all be completed, hopefully um, this weekend to get it truly watertight. So there we go. So hopefully you did enjoy my latest update with regards to building my Lego room. If you did, please do go ahead and give it that big thumbs up. Um, and let me know what you think. Leave down in the comments section. I do read the comments. I'm not having much of an opportunity to reply, to be perfectly honest, because I'm just so busy, obviously, with my full-time work. This and other LEGO-related stuff that I do um, as well. But please leave those comments down there. I do read them. Um, and I will get back into the habit of replying to um, some, if not all of them, um, if I can find time. Um, but yeah, that's it for now, guys. Um, look out for the next update with regards to building my lego room and that just leaves me to say i look forward to seeing you all in the next video cheers bye for now everyone see you later bye yeah.